welcome to another process video. Let's go inside the craft room and see what I've been making this week. I've had a little tidy up from the stream yesterday and here we are with what I've been making this week, during the week since last Tuesday's process video. Maria in comments gave me a little challenge and said, why don't you make some fabric beads? So let me take you along for my take on fabric beads. I looked up the definition of button and it said it could be made of any materials, i.e. wood, metal, fabric, paper. It just had to have a hole in the middle. But I, I've gone against that a little bit because I think with fabric you don't really need to make a hole you can just thread the needle through the fabric so I started to make these what I'm calling flat beads here as well so let me take you through how I make that make that sandwiched fabric with little fabric scraps in between some wadding. I've got my sari silk bag on my on my lap. I did say scraps, but some of these fabrics aren't scraps. I'm just I'm just snipping away and using it. Let's Let's just cut, that's the backing. So that's going to go on the back. And then I'm going to snip some little pieces as I go. At the same time, I can show you how I made some of the fabric beads. Just, this is one method. When you're making paper beads, you make this sort of large V and then you roll it up, usually with a cocktail stick or a straw. Or sometimes people I've seen use it making big ones and using the barrel of a pen. I'm just going to thread the needle through there. And that's just, I've just rolled it up and then that's the pin. I pin it and that's just the start of a fabric bead. I'll pop that one over there because I'm going to... The relaxation of using the machine today. Where's the foot pedal? There it is. There's my leader ender. And then I'm going to... This is just so relaxing. Oh, let me show you this fabric here. Isn't this beautiful? I love the other side where it's all, all frayed. I think that makes a nice bead, fabric bead. So I love the frayiness of it. So I'm going to roll that up just like that. These add lovely texture to your art, to your journal pages. There's another one made, um, ready for sewing. Let's just snip some of these fabrics here and sew them down. There's young Freddy watching. We had a better night last night. No foxes running around in the garden. So our night was a lot more settled. Ah, oh, we're walking in the shade again today. It's a hot old day and just walked up the hill. We're slightly out of breath, aren't we, Freddy? Come on then, let's get you some water. There's some beautiful sari fabrics here. I got these from Sofia. Came all the way from India. I think her her Facebook group is called Dust Fairies. The thing I 
like about the little beads is that they're so portable. So I've been, I've been making them even on my travels this week. I'm on the way through the Buckinghamshire countryside back into London. These little, these little beads, fabric beads are such fun to do on the go. Small project to do. Make sure the needle's in before you turn it round. I'm saying that to myself more than anybody else because I'm very new to all this sewing with the machine but very much enjoying it. I think this beautiful little vintage machine it's quite they say these singer machines are little workhorses and they yeah it's very tough it seems to go through a lot of a lot of fabric it hasn't said no to anything yet here's a little close-up of the machine because you don't often get to see it on stream really close up. It's got a little little box there. It's lovely. I really enjoy using it. I had it refurbished during lockdown and have been practicing on it ever since. When you finish that, it's time to do a little bit of free form sewing. You can get special foots for that, but I haven't I haven't looked into that yet changing the foot i mean i'm taking it one step at a time i i'm even it rewinding the bobbin filling the bobbin up so big enough step for me so let's take that out and i'm going to make one of those little flowers and leaves they're quite flat for beads but i can thread them so i'm calling them beads They thread up quite nicely actually and I've put them with other beads as well. There we are, I'll just cut that a little bit to make it easier. And then I'm just going to make a little circle for the centre of the flower and then I'm going to make some petals. I'm turning it as I go. no expert on this trust me but it seems to want to it seems to want to play i'm being quite heavy-handed as i turn it round if you have any other tips let me know in the description box i should look up i was very careful not to look up other people's takes on fabric beads before I did my own. I didn't want to be influenced. I need to put my glasses on. Where are my glasses? Um, did I, I had them on my head a minute ago. Oh well, I'll try and manage with that. That's one petal. Lift it round and go round. Now, my petals aren't all different shapes. I mean, they're all different shapes, so there's no... I think maybe in nature they're like that. I don't know. It's a wonky flower. Let's call it a wonky flower. It's a small petal. Just, we'll just see how it... Let's see how it evolves. It seems to want to... I don't even know how many petals I've got. Hold on, one, two, three, four. Room for one more. Room for a little one. <laughs> there we are. Let's put this back here. There. Right. Gosh, I think it's time for a tea break, don't you? Which tea to choose today? I've got Yorkshire tea. I've run out of the tea and biscuit tea. I think I'm going to have a mixture of York Yorkshire tea and 
Wittard's Vanilla Tea. That's really nice. Let me just show you this new teapot we got in a charity shop on holiday. It's so 1970s, isn't it? I just had to stop and buy it. Ben and Katie said, no, no, go in, go in, go and buy it. Let me show you the underneath. I love the underneath as much as anything. Sienna Ironstone, made in England. I absolutely love it. <laughs> so here's the one I just made today with you and I'm just going to cut round where I can see I've done the petals like this making sure that you can see there we are it's always a bonus if you can see isn't it Cut it round like that. My free form stitches. Ah, oh. and there we are. Now we have a little flat fabric bead, and it's got the material on the other side as well. You can see the flower, you can see the stitching, and that will thread up nicely let's let's give it a go now let's thread it let's just let's just play thread up between it it's going to be is that going to be hard to do i have some in this box here i'll show you the box in a minute i know you want to see the box <laughs> i have some of these pliers are these pliers they're like very reasonably priced jewellery making and it just pulls that through nicely so I have it's like it's a bead because I threaded it through I didn't have a hole but I I thread it through the through the fabric let's leave an end there and let's thread up one of these other beads I was making in the week where have they gone they sort of ah here's one Let's put something in between that. Let's find something in the box to put in between that and we'll we'll thread that. Here's my treasure box by, by my side here, full of things I found along the way, bottle caps and keys and wire and tools. Here's the book binding thread I used to string up this spine decoration here. And I've been using these washers as bead caps. That's to put on the top of my beads. And let's see, I've got some glass beads here that I'm going to collect and use. Right, let's find a bead to string on here. And if it doesn't go through, I just move on and go to another one. Gorgeous. Oh, let's let's use, where's the washers? What did I do with them? Oh, here they are. I just like adding those. So we've got a mixture of things. There we are, and some more beads. Let's thread up one of, this is the one I made on the train. It's got some of my mum's, the last little piece of tatting that I found in my mum's sewing bag just pop all this on blue and i'm going to end this one by just coming through just to make a loop back through the end because i've got some metal loops here and rings but if you haven't got those just make a loop with your fabric with your with your fabric i mean your cotton whatever you're using that's made a lovely loop and come back up again so that makes it strong yeah lovely there so let's snip that off that's even easier than fiddling with the metal whoops and just just to show you what we can do oh look that's falling down the other end so i need to thread some beads 
or something on the end here. So that means I need to thread my needle again, which is never easy. Let me just wet the end there. Can I, can I get this needle thread? There we are. And what shall I put on the bottom? I've got Fabric homemade bead. I think I'm going to go for, let's see if it goes through. Oh, yes, it goes through. I'm going to go for that bead. And how am I going to finish that off? Well, I think I might just tie a knot. Let's see if that finishes it off nicely. Oh, let me put that in the... Let's see if that finishes it off nicely. Tying knots like threading needles is not always easy. Probably you want to leave yourself, if you're doing this, leave yourself a, a longer tail. Don't do what I say. <laughs> oh dear, don't do what I do, I mean. Oh dear. Let's pop that through there. Let's see if that knot's big enough. No, it's not. It's not big enough. I could put a little bead on the end. I was just trying to do this one without using the tools, just in case you hadn't got any tools, but you've got some thread and some bits of fabric. Of course, you can be making yours from paper. Seriously, there are no rules and there's lots of videos, I'm sure, on making paper beads and fabric beads. Let's just see. One more knot. One more knot. You're struggling through here with me. I need one more knot. I'm keeping you with me. I've kept you with me this far, so I feel you need... The struggle is real. <laughs> You're with me on it. What's on your craft tables this week? What are you doing to relax? Will you have a go at the fabric beads? And thank you to Maria for giving me an idea of what to, to, to make this week. Any more ideas of process videos you'd like? Or whether you'd like to set me little challenges. This is certainly a challenge, doing this knot here. Well, I am going to turn the camera off because I probably need to just tie this knot on my own. Do you know, I'm not, I'm not going to do, do that on my own. I'm going to take you along. I'm going to make that fabric longer by tying a knot in another piece of fabric. Problem solving there as I go. I probably had a sip of my tea. I try and make this as real time as I can. Oh, I love that. Oh, yes. Absolutely love that that I've got the different fabrics there. I need to make that knot needs to come further up. Okay, struggle is still real. I'll be back. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Let's just snip the end off here. It's a nice messy knot. <laughs> Let me just, just to demonstrate, I'm going to put this on a paper clip. So that's a nice way to, if you haven't got one of the, I can't think what they call them, a lobster claw. A lobster claw. You can put it on a paper clip. See, I, I, I made these ones using the metal rings. I can demonstrate that another time if you want me to. 
got lots more ready to make up. You can see I just get little bits of fabric as I'm going along during the week. Let's pop thread this on a paper clip and that will be a lovely addition to a journal. I don't know where the hole is now. I love this because it really, yeah, it's this is keeping it real. <laughs> I can't find the little hook anymore. No, it's gone down into the bead. Maybe I'll have to tie this now. Oh dear, there we are. I'm sure when you make these, you're not going to make it as fiddly as I have done today. There's that knot there. Thread that paper clip through there. And I'm going to tie the knot again. Tie the knot. <laughs> Let's have a quick sip of tea. Mm. Or oh, let me know how you get on making these bees. You might want to put some pictures on social media as well so I can see them. There we are. The struggle was real, but I did it. <laughs> there we are. I made a paper clip. And those, those go nicely on our journals. Let me just clip this one up here like this. It can be on a page. Oh no, the knots come undone. Well, back to the drawing board. Let me just tie the knot again. There we are. We have our, our finished dangle, the fabric beads threaded and knotted <laughs> oh there we are and with the scraps of this i think i can make some more beads here and with the little off cuts these will make nice i'll roll these up these will make nice um fabric beads too what do you think freddie you're finding it hot aren't you today freddie yeah i know uh -huh. Well, it's probably time for me to say bye now, but whatever craft or art you get the chance to do this week, I, I hope you I hope you have a peaceful week. And I'll catch up with you in the comments down below or at other people's streams in the chats. Take care, everyone. When we leave the room, I bet Flo is going to start making some fabric beads. She's journaling at the moment. <laughs>